what's up guys you're welcome back i found this quite fascinating it's actually trending right now with the recent drama or the recent happenings going on in niger you know there was a coup yeah and the military has taken over the government we saw this trending video of the finance minister of the country when he was asked to give a breakdown of how the of the, their funds were spent and he was giving 48 hours that if he doesn't give a superb you know, analysis of how funds were spent in the country that he will be facing firing squad and we saw him fidgeting on TV. Well, as I said, I found this quite fascinating and it's been trending after the drama, the recent happenings in Niger. For the desk of Thomas Sankara, he said we must choose either champion for a few or safe drinking water for all. That's actually deep, deep thoughts indeed. What's up guys and welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Jungle Entertainment. We give you only hot yourself for the trends and happenings in Nigeria, both in Africa and the world over. If you are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell like button to stay up with all the trends. What's trendy right now, not just in Nigeria, but globally, is Afrobeats. Afrobeats has taken over the world. It has taken over the world by storm. Big ups and congratulations to all the big boys in the uh, Afrobeats music industry, the Remas. The Asakes, the Bonaboy, the Video Whiskey, the list is becoming endless. And all the ladies, the Tiwa Savage, the Thames, big goes to all of you. I mean, you've been doing very well putting Afrobeats on the world map. You know, the likes of Fela, they did their best to push Afrobeat, but man, these guys have been doing very well too. We know Whiskey just shut down the uh, 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 Tottenham Hospital Stadium recently with so many people. I mean, it was legendary, it was crazy, and the Video 2 has been. Shutting down arenas and Bonabo himself too have been living up to his name as the Dugu of Africa. I saw this quite fascinating that the relationship between Afrobeats and football is spreading wide as Afrobeat artists are now taking over some of the biggest football stadiums in the world. That is massive. By the way, who is your goat when it comes to Afrobeat? We know there's been this debate when it comes to football between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. We know Cristiano Ronaldo right now is in Saudi Arabia. And Lionel Messi is in the United States of America and he's been doing very well. I will talk about Lionel Messi and David Beckham of what David Beckham said. You know, he is a, a, a co owner of the club where Messi is signed to the MSL. Now, talking about the arenas or the football stadium being shut down by Afrobeat artists, Whiskey shut down Tottenham Hotspur Stadium 62,850. Wow. Davido Luce Stadium, 88,966. And Bonaboy Atatuk Olympic Stadium, 74,753. Big ups to all the Afrobeats. Africa, Africa the Udogu in Seb Bonaboy has promised to release his seven studio album. And according to Bonaboy, he said the title of the album will be I Told Them. We can't wait for that album. I could remember seeing a, a, a snippet of uh, Swiss Beats doing a song with um, Bonaboy. I know this album will have so many features. I mean, so many international artists being featured on the album because Bonaboy has been doing numbers in the United States, in Europe. Big ups and congratulations to the Odo himself. So we are waiting eagerly for Bonaboy's next album. I told him, I told him that that will be the title of his impending seventh studio album we are waiting patiently for that i know bonaboy has been doing very well and he will still break records now uh, talking about music we uh, uh olamide promised dropping his album and uh, olamide dropped this message too recently that people to get money for lagos why is there traffic this sunday morning i was actually referring to yesterday because today is the 31st of july 2023 and today is a monday he said why is there traffic this Sunday morning? So much cars on the road. Pastors, pastors, the cash out shop. Can't lie. God, you feed call me to I feed Modita. So <laughs> it's like Olamide wants to go into uh into pastoral duties. Yes, he wants to become a pastor, maybe to open a church, and we should remember that it's managing a, a record label, YB and Elanis record label have been doing very well. The likes of Asake. Fireboy DML, I mean, so many superb artists are signed to his record label. It's doing very well. It's like Alam, they want to start multitasking to be a record label owner. 
a musician and he wants to open a church well big ups and all the best <laughs> whatever you uh, decide Olamide, you have been doing very well and people will definitely support you i know if Olamide decides to open a church people definitely no i, I also found this is interesting anyway someone dropped this message that why do aliens only go to the united states for those that have been watching movies, especially the Hollywood movie, we see so many aliens in the United States. I can remember this movie acted by Will Smith, Independence Day, it's a lit movie where, where aliens came in to planet Earth and they were fighting. I don't think we've ever acted that in Nollywood. Is there any alien movie in Nollywood, in the Nollywood movie industry? For those that have been following the Nollywood movie industry back to back, the comment section is open for you to drop a comment. But regardless, someone said, there was one movie where aliens went to South Africa. <laughs> they really suffered <laughs> that Nigerians in the slum were using them for rituals. Like seriously, and someone even said that uh, they were, if aliens decide, decide to come to Nigeria, people will use them for pepper soup. <laughs> that is actually funny. Well, still talking about the entertainers or the music industry, let us move on to the United States of America. This picture has been changing of Akon. We remember Akon's song, one of his hit songs that he's lonely. I am so lonely, I have nobody, I am on my own. And I mean, this came as a surprise that Akon has nine children, nine children. Like, some people were not, were not asking, like, in this economy, well, Akon is not in Nigeria. So, I mean, he's not feeling the impacts of what we are feeling right now in our country, Nigeria. Like, nine children. So whether I like it or not, Econ is not lonely. So he was just singing, he just sang that song to cash crews to make money and he made money with it. Let's just move on and uh, talk about singer Jay-Z. Jay-Z is a superb musician. I mean, he has been doing very well. He has been doing very well, not just for himself, but those around him. We got this news that do you know that some time ago, Lee Wayne was broke and couldn't pay his taxes until Jay-Z came through and paid his taxes. Not only that, Jay-Z helped free Meet Me when he went to prison. He hired the best immigration lawyer for 21 Savage. He handled the Uzivet contract issues. He is the first billionaire rapper. That is why so many people call Jay-Z the greatest of all time. By the way, who is your good when it comes to rap? Don't forget to drop a comments on the comment section. Still talking about Jay-Z, we know he's a a businessman who has done very well in the rap industry, as I said, he has helped so many rappers. I mean, to fine tune their uh, careers and to save them from prison or taxes or so many issues. We got this news that hip hop legend Jay Z could be set to front a potential takeover of Tottenham Hotspur. Wow, that the music mob Jay Z is preparing an audacious bid to buy Premier League giant Tottenham Hotspur, his close business associate to at Daily Express. For the uh, Tottenham Hotspur fans out there, would you want Jay-Z to become the new owner of the club? Please, the comment section is open for you to drop your yeah, wonderful See in the music comment. scene, let's talk about this album by Travis Scott, Utopia. Have you listened to the album? By the way, what was your favorite track of that album? According to reports, the featured list of the album, he featured Drake, he featured Beyonce, he featured The Weeknd, he featured Young Talk, he featured Bad Bunny, he featured Playboy Cathy, he featured 21 Savage, James Blake, West Side Gun, Young Lean, Kid Kudi, Future, SZA, Rob49, Justin Venom, Bon Iva, Sanfa, and Tizo Touchdown. What is your favorite track of the album Utopia? The album has been making numbers. Please, the comment section is open for you to drop your comments. And also, still talking about football, I said I'll bring this up, let me bring it up here. Lionel Messi, from the desk of David Beckham, he said, Leo is coming, it's done. According to David Beckham, he said, when he found out, that David Beckham tried to give this report, when he found out that Messi was joining Inter Miami. According to him, he said, I never thought I would have the same feeling as an owner as I had when I was a player. When I got the phone call, I had the feeling I had when I walked out at Old Trafford or Wembley. I was like, we have just beaten all competition to sign the greatest player to ever play our, our game. I was in Japan with the, the family and woke up at 5 a.m. because my phone kept vibrating. My wife was like, really? Turn off your phone. 
I looked on my phone and I'm like, what's happened? Something, something, something has happened. I put on my glasses and I put my glasses on and I'm like, Leo is coming. He's done. He has announced it. My wife was like, what do you mean he has announced it? I said he has gone on TV and said he's coming to Inter Miami. I get goosebumps talking about it. Well, that was actually David Becker. He was recounting his experience when he heard that Leo, um, Leonel Messi was coming to Inter Miami. I mean, Leonel Messi has been doing very well. I mean, we saw the likes of DJ Kali, so many netizens, uh, so many entertainers, so people in the entertainment industry came. Kadesha, LeBron James, they went to watch Leonel Messi play. I think Leonel Messi has taken football to the next level here in the United States because they don't really f f view football the way Europeans view it. You know, they have their own American football and, and they call it soccer. You know, they call it soccer in the United States. But yeah, Lady Messi has been doing very well. He scored in his first game. Not only his first game, he scored now, in let's come back to country Nigeria game. and discuss a little about politics because that's what has been trending for. Just come, Mr. President, he says Nigeria used to be patient. I will ask Microfinance Bank to give you loans that came from desk of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. It's like this loan drama is becoming something else in our country, Nigeria. He says students cannot take loans to go to school. But the question is, if, if you go to school with loans, how will you pay back the loans? Will you have a job? Are there job opportunities in the country? The comments are just open for you to drop your comments. I uh, see talking about the drama going on in the country with the fuel subsidy remover. Everything has skyrocketed in the market transportation. Everything has skyrocketed because fuel is our main focus. It's the mainstay of this economy in Nigeria. We saw this video, I actually posted it of uh, people trekking in Lagos. Not just in, in Lagos, it's now a national phenomenon. People have been trekking just to save transportation. Thank you guys for watching this wonderful channel. Please make sure you subscribe button and bell icon so as to stay up to all the trends. See you soon. Have a day.